Right, hello everyone, and welcome to the final round of 16 match of the AirBB Cup. And this one sees Cruel facing off versus PK83. In a fantastic but thrilling <laughs> chore mirror match. Who can bang the most? It's like a scene down at Pop World in York. And surprisingly enough, the chores have chose to receive. <laughs> um, Blue heads chores, yeah, he does. He knows his stuff, that's for sure. Let me uh, go back because I think I skipped something there. Right, so these are the PK83 ones, and these are the Danes. We have the white chores versus the non white chores. Cool. Um Okay. Well, wait. Give it a second. I know, a chorf mirror. How how enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh I went back too far <laughs> and then I forgot which colours are which. I'm pretty sure PK eighty three are the they're the white ones, yeah. yeah. Cool. Cause you know, uh, Cruel, Cruel is basically just going the full Crucifer build, right? The blue head chorfs, the red. <laughs> oh, J Jimmy's washed, like. Jimmy's... It's over for Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't even know how to win a game of Blood Bowl anymore. I, f I feel bad for him. <laughs> it all started to go downhill when, um... When he tried to have fun to, during the Miguel Cup and Elliot, um... Elliot, Elliot was teaching him how to practice losing, and uh, he's he's really taking he's really taking the practicing losing to heart. Um, but anyway, so, Cruel has has some chores, and they have uh, fourteen men's for. We have a uh, we have two rook or three rookie chores. Jesus, three rookie chores. We have. A couple of rookie hobbles. We have a strength up block hobble over here. We have a lovely blood sure hands carrier. Uh, DP hobgoblin. And the only thing we really care about, right, are, are how how much damage can the chorfs do, right? We've got a mighty claw with guard, as Dimmy would say over here. <laughs> We've got a full killer with guard as well. And another mighty claw. Both bulls have block break tackle and one of them has guard. Let's go. And then what are they up against? They're up against uh, 13 men's. Couple of rookie hobbles. Um, block, windy blow, edge up bulls. Pretty nice. The other bull is block, break, tackle. Excellent, excellent. And then we've got some guard. Some guard mighty. Some guard mighty stand firm. And then two killers. Two claw palms. One of them also has Dauntless and Guard. So it seems like advantage is slightly towards um, PK83, right? Sweltering Heat might have something else to say about it. How many Torf teams are in the quarters? Um, well, that would be spoilers, Steve, wouldn't it? <laughs> um... But before before this game happens, we know that there's at least oh well, I suppose we do know right because this is the last round of sixteen match and we know one gets through from here. Um, so there's one from this game, and then there's Benbow Baggins, and there's Right Killer. So there's a three out of eight are chores in the quarters. We'll, uh, we'll take a look after any. I, I have the draw. I don't want to show it now, obviously. <laughs> um, and Cruel also has a keg. Or a babe. And, uh, yeah. Th yeah, this is the last 16 game. <laughs> Hence why I'm not talking about who's in the quarters. Because um, yours yours and Benbo's was the first quarter final to be played. And... Uh, I think Kalon and Spork are back tomorrow night. 
I think they're going to do some uh, a game or two of casts. So presumably um, yours and Benbo's. Uh, unless, unless they just redo one of these, maybe. Which should be fine, too. So the sweltering heat is, is something to concern with as well, right? Like the extra man for uh, for crew could be handy, but also, you know, getting banged out first <laughs> is uh, is not as handy. So that'd be pretty pretty standard setup, right? Chorps on the LOS, bulls protecting the sides, and and hobbles down the back, and then it's uh it's time to bang, baby. pretty nice that uh, Cruel can afford to just throw some shitters on the LOS and has like three uh, rookie chorps as well. Instant full greed. <laughs> I suppose that is a three plus for the chorp to come back, isn't it? Or for the hobo to come back. Piling on proving to be a fake skill so far here though. Um... See, I, I think I would just take the KO, right? KO is pretty nice. It at least guarantees your uh you're up some men. Um and we're not taking a blitz because obviously that just gets our bulls or whatever claw mighted. I mean our bull this bull's probably still getting claw mighted. Our one of these are getting claw mightied. <laughs> Something's getting claw mightied anyway, surely. Yeah, here we go. Instant full insertion of the claw mighty. Gets a stun. Piles it on. Just a stun. Ooh. It's a, it's a tight opening exchange here, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing, nothing doing so far. But uh, pretty good positioning from uh, from Cruel here, honestly, right? And comes in for the uh, one assist foul. Gets sent off immediately. <laughs> I believe that's what we call a, a gym foul. It's a bit, it's a bit high rolly going for that foul, I suppose. Didn't blitz with Claw Mighty. It is quite hard to blitz with Claw Mighty this turn, by the way, but. Uh... <laughs> well, I say that. Could have. No, I guess not. Could have blitzed with Mighty Blow on this chorf, though. But I guess it frees this fellow up, right? So we've gone quite narrow here. And we're taking a 1D, which is pretty cool. And that is a KO. Can pile this one on to turn into a stun. So uh, the Dirty Danes are down to 9. They they could be down to 8 if uh, we didn't pile on the stun. It's fine. And lovely, lovely chain to get out the killer to blitz this one. Greed reroll. Does greed reroll. Cool. Seeing that we need to get uh, something off here, playing uh, playing pretty pretty good so far. I guess we're just leaving these on the ground, are we? Uh, dodge foul, dodge foul. Cool, cool. I mean, it is pretty good piece to get off. Just a stun, mm. and we're dodging him as well. Well, we're getting a free chorf to hit here. And then we can claw mighty this chorf. So, I mean, we're not getting anything amazing to to really hit. But uh, it's still quite nice. This thing is definitely going to hit by mighty blow. Because we're probably piling this on, right? Unless we just ki kill it first time. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so, he's not getting hit then. <laughs> Um, 
I have to be careful not to get this claw mighty. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 tricky. Obviously, like uh, cruel being down to eight now is is a bit sad. Definitely means that you get less hits, but I think taking this claw mighty hit is pretty good, isn't it? And then this foul afterwards, I presume. And we get him. Doesn't do nothing. Pile it on. And he's KO'd. Ooh. Wonder if we see like a power app or something here. We don't. Okay. That's interesting. I think I'd have taken this hit first and then see what happens. I guess this is a really nice juicy foul though. Isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. And then just get our line of uh, chorfs up ahead. <laughs> then he pulls in there and fouls that. Yeah, you got to be careful about the bull coming around, though. This isn't an armor break. Like, he just stands up. But, uh... Done for a send-off, right? Okay, so we've had two send-offs apiece now. Um, so it's now, what, eight versus nine? The numbers advantage has, has kind of come back around. He's getting Fierce Claw Mighty, but that kind of gives up the drive. I suppose you kind of just give up the drive in you. With these two stunned. Ah, uh, blockless block. The problem with this is just the fact that, like, you're just jammed in giving away every hit that there is. Ah, nice. But it does get us this hit, so that's pretty cool. We, oh, I was going to say we didn't pile it on, but we, we didn't have pile on. <laughs> but yeah, this is the problem, because now we've just created, like, so much space, right? Well, I say that. I thought we were going to blitz a bull, but this is obviously a nicer target to hit. Thought uh, blitzing this bull was kind of cool to come up, but I suppose we're uh, happy to take this hit. And we've gone full potato here. Full instant potato. Pile it on. He's fine. I mean, to be fair, Cruel's Chorfs are in a bit of danger now, right? <laughs> um, they're a little bit <laughs> all over the place. But we're still giving a lot of hits back. It's quite hard, I suppose, with all the guard and stuff, isn't it? But this is the danger. We get like two claw mighty hits this turn. Which is pretty nice. Hmm. Bro. Pretty rowdy. And Bull just try and gets away. Rolls a one. Nice. So. Hmm. The Chorps are looking at what we can hit this turn. <laughs> we can take a almighty hit here. We can palm this fella. We're not palming this fella. What are we palming instead? This guy. Um, I mean, surely it's always better to just palm the killer.
I mean, surely, right? Surely it's better to always take a a claw palm hit. I mean, we can knock it down anyway, but... I suppose it would have done nothing, you know, for it to read into the dice. <laughs> so now it's just a case of uh, what can the Chorps do, if anything, in terms of damage. And, like, Sweltering Heat's going to be huge here. Bit of a bit of a nutting turn, but it's always quite hard, isn't it, when you when you're missing your players. Now we get to palm this killer. KOs, pulls it on. Gets rewarded with a Kaz this time. And uh he's dead, but he's uh he's back alive. The apple fixed him. So what, he's blitzing him. Oh, I guess he's taking this hit. Yeah. Cool. Kills that one. Can't pile it on to make it better. And 1D blitz. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, like, we were trying to free him up, right? Ooh, and we're giving him a two-turn. That, that's that got to hurt, like, after, like, sheer dominance of the whole, um, of the whole drive. To have to bang it in on turn seven. Like, I don't think we really had to bang it in on turn seven, either. Um, like I guess the bull can, can, can come over but we could probably have just moved into the stall like moved over and stalled I thought it was I didn't think there was a need to score there maybe there was but uh, it's not sweltering heat is it no it's very sunny. Let's go. Oh, it was changing weather, was it? Changing weather at the start. Who even knows? So. PK to tree is on 11. And... Uh, Cruel is on 11 as well. <laughs> so all their bench are currently used up. Two turns for, for the Chorfs. And two turns for the Chorfs to defend against. We do have kick though. Okay, okay. Quick snap. Deep kick, but if that's a touchback where it's game on. Like, if this is a, a touchback and the ball goes to him, then, hmm. Probably looking at 1-1. One, one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, the ball gets the ball. Um, Are we sideline caging here? Okay, we're not. Oh, that's fine. Not even full instant sideline cage. Let's go. This should be pretty simple for the chorfs from here. For for the red chorfs from here. Um, expertly not piling on the KOs. Getting two removals is, is really well played, Cruel. Let's go. And, uh, oh, we're blitzing the bull. 
from that angle. Uh, don't know about that one. Um, not sure about that one. Because, like, so first of all, he could have just moved there, right? And then the bull could have blitzed from this angle and pushed him to here. I mean, I don't think it makes a huge bit of difference. But, like, this guy could just have stood here first anyway, right? In case whatever happens. And then, then if you happen to, like, you know, 1 and 9 or whatever and get stuck here, then he could just stand here. One D blitz. This doesn't seem amazing. So he's gonna what, rush to here, and then the bull's gonna come back as well. So the hobo rushes to here, and the bull stands here. And then we just give the bull a two dice blitz out. Unless we double go for it here, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think this square is better. Because now we just 1D blitz this. Like we won the blitz needing a push, like so it's a three plus and it for the score. Or put in the guard and make it a two D blitz at the ball, yeah, sure. And then we can take the push and follow and the dodge out. Pretty nice. Simple. Yeah, I man, I don't know. I like I said at the time, I didn't think we needed to give them a two turn. Obviously, it's pretty unlucky with the we kick and then getting a touch back and everything. Um, but also the setup wasn't wasn't very good against a two turn either. Like you kind of just gave them the flanks. So I don't know. I think I think it could have been I think well first of all I think it could have been stalled out personally. Um But anyway, it should be it sh like should be a straightforward enough drive, right? For cruel here. They're both on eleven. You get a couple of claw mighty hits. You have a bludge ball carrier. It's just a case of whether PK83 can force force cool in early and get a two turn back himself or two or more turn back himself. Cheering fans is is pretty good for cruel, as in it's not a blitz or a solid defense. And now it's just a case of whether or not Cruel can do some damage. We'll uh, be piling this one on for sure. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> and then we've still got this claw mighty hit to come. <laughs> And he's KO'd. Hmm. I guess the bull is just blitzing here then. And then try for the pickup. 
Maybe we don't even need to try for the pickup. Honestly, like, this setup is pretty good. This setup is pretty great. Oh, it's just six squares. Yeah, well, on, a, on six squares, and it's fine. You have sure hands. Pretty good. Gets it. Nice. Puts in the reroll. Because we're, we're down two chores now. So we. Well, we're down three chores, right? Because one of them was KO'd already. One of them got KO'd this turn, and the other one died. <laughs> So yeah, this uh, this drive has just become a bit easier for crew. But still, it's not over. Like, two of them are just KO'd, and if we could force them in a bit early and get some get a two or a three turn back, then uh, then it's game on. Push for overtime. Maybe maybe Cruel is complacent at some stage and leaves leaves dice in the ball, which I think you just gotta take. It, it would appear that Cruel hasn't left anything on. <laughs> this turn at least. And there goes another uh, another one of PK83's players. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we, we often saw it with Blood Bowl 2 chalice casts and stuff, right? That um, the snowball effect is real. And how many, how many uh, playoff games have we covered this season as well where it's just been like incredible you know like i think back to yesterday's game that we watched um jd bear and and roy killer and like jd bear was getting stun 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 and just uh a couple of removals and then roy killer eventually found the hot dice and just removed jd bear's entire team um And like pretty much the same as well for Golden Gate versus The Wire and Hancock versus uh, versus Will Walsh. And funnily enough, all three of those games had Claw Mighty pieces. So, may and I'm pretty sure all of them had Claw Mighty piling on. <laughs> it's almost like <laughs> Claw Palm was a uh, was a terrible set of skills <laughs> that really just embraced the banging. And uh, you just see here, and it's just kind of like, yeah, the chores are just getting banged around, trying to get something back. And, like, they need to, they need to get a couple of removals, right? Um, and it's just not happening for them. Obviously the meta, yeah. Yeah, Steve. The edge teams were better. I mean, you saw the edge team uh, and Tonus got, got one over Kaelon yesterday. But, um... Mainly, mainly because... Well, Kaelon couldn't do any removals anyway, right? Very, very little removals. Which, uh, which Kaelon kind of needed to make it a bit easier for himself, but... Sometimes they just don't come. At the same time though, like, having multiple rerolls a turn kind of makes edge teams better now, right? Like, for teams that don't need to pass, um, they just adapt their playstyle a bit. But, um... 
I suppose that's why Dark Elves and things are pretty good, aren't they? Dark Elves are always pretty good. I was looking at Space Marine 2, Hargrim. It looks like the, the bits, like I've never played anything like that. Well, anything like that in Warhammer. But um, it looks pretty fun. But I, I was put off by the price. I was like, eh, it's probably a bit much for something I've never played. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll have a great time. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll wait for the sale. I'll check some, uh, uh, like, key website or something for it to be, like, 20 quid. Pick it up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bang on men's. And then when you finish banging on men's, bang some more men's. Pile it on. Oh no. We'll take the KO this time. Well, to be fair, Speggy, you, you can always refund any game if you buy it on Steam, right? As long as you've less than two hours played, you can refund the game for even for just not liking it. Why well, Steam is pretty good for that. Um, but it, it is still a lot of money. But it's pretty cool just um just been like, oh, I don't know. I I'd, I'd I'd like to try this game. See if it's any good. Apparently, and that's what a lot of people did with Blood Bowl 3, right? They heard it was terrible. And uh, they bought and played it for like an hour. And they're like, yeah, it is terrible. Let's refund it. We've opted for a sideline cage here. Bull's gonna bull. But uh, we're, tr we're zero rerolls to four, which is pretty incredible. And we haven't, we've just done nothing to them, right? Very unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, Jock, yeah. <laughs> who, who can bang the hardest, right? Thankfully, thankfully it's nearly over. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Who's to say? There, there's a reason why I was leaving this one for last. <laughs> and I was really hoping to, to come on and do it last night. <laughs> um, but instead I was like, no, I'll come on, I'll come on and do it now. <laughs> and then at least all the round of 16 games will be done. It just, I mean, like, it's a great skill, but it really does kind of just take the fun and, and excitement out of, out of games. Um, as do, as do most removals, right? Like, if it was 11 versus 11 all the time, <laughs> it'd be a lot different game. I'd probably lose a lot more, <laughs> fully enough. <laughs> um. Well, we've stopped the... We've stopped the big 2 plus cage dive, right? It's pretty cool. And there's only one bull to worry about. Wonder if we just go for it anyway? No. Do we, uh, no, I guess, I was, <laughs> I was going to say, do we just surf the bull here? <laughs> we probably don't. <laughs> I'd be tempted, though. <laughs> I'd be quite tempted to try and surf this bull. I think I'd take this hit and see what happens. And if this is a pow, I think I surf this bull. <laughs> take this blitz. <laughs> 
take the push. <laughs> or you could just chasm. That that, that works. <laughs> Surfed him anyway. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's probably that then, isn't it? <laughs> That's probably that then. Hmm. Well, I'm sure Cruel had a great time. I mean, you might as well grade rerolls, Bleggy, right? Uh, Cruel was sitting on four rerolls and turned 14 or something like that. <laughs> Uh, with a full team versus like none <laughs> so you might as well <laughs> yeah only one reroll per turn and I mean like even even if it wasn't even one reroll per turn what do you do like <laughs> how do you spend four rerolls this turn <laughs> um, just come in I mean you come in and you take your two claw mighty hits right Yeah, well, you know, you know what, Dimmy, and this this might come as a shock to to everyone in the Blood Bowl community. Jimmy Fantastic isn't always right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm always right. <laughs> in fact, I am wrong quite often. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> I don't go around telling people I'm always right. <laughs> um, so anyway, <laughs> the red shorts have scored. <laughs> but there's a lot of chaos going back. So, you know, we could get a timeout or we could get a riot or, or you know, MC Cruel might feel bad and decide to concede the game. Who's who's to say? <laughs> who's to say how this game will end from here? I couldn't. I couldn't even guess myself. Uh, now then, I was uh, I was discussing what I was going to take to your tournament at the start of the stream. I haven't quite decided, but. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm pretty close. It's really funny cuz I remember asking you what what I sh what uh what you thought was really strong in your tournament and I can't remember what you said. <laughs> but it's it's not what I was going for anyway. And most importantly, I uh booked and paid for my accommodation for the weekend, which is which is even more important honestly than than picking the race. Um, so we we obviously didn't get a riot, um, and the banging on men's has failed. It I mean it is kind of like it is genuinely one of those rule sets that you look at and you're kind of like damn, it's pretty it's pretty balanced. <laughs> it's hilarious because two of my three tournaments. That I've, uh, well, besides Eurobowl, that I've yet to go for, um, are, are really, really balanced. <laughs> well, I say really balanced. One of them, one of them is pretty, pretty balanced. Um, yeah, I, I think so, Spleggy. F for someone, Dimmy, but not for me. So, um, yes, Cruel was right. There was a Chorf winner in this game. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> so, congratulations to Cruel and commiserations to PK83. Um, the two obvious MVPs there going to Hargrim and Jesus Christ himself. 
So, um, you know, well played, Hargrim. Well played, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you in the quarters.